Hello and welcome to the second section in my part 6 course of Java MTA. Um, in this section we're going to be looking at some common errors in classes. Okay, so the key points are about some common errors that you could create in um, when using classes. Again, we're going to go through them very quickly, but then I'll give examples and show examples later on. So the first one is, if you've not created your instance, you can't access the class property. So that's a common error. If you don't really know what an instance is, I suggest looking at the video terminology of classes and objects. Number two, if your method is static, then it also can't access any of the that class properties. If you don't understand what static means, I would suggest watching my video on Java Fundamentals Understanding Basic Method Signatures. Um, importantly, you can't call a non-static method from within a static method. Okay, so again, that's one of the issues that you have to do. Again, if you don't know what static means, I would suggest watching that video. So, uh, lastly, your class properties or your access modifiers can stop you access accessing them. So again, this is just a little um, of a review of those class properties. Um, I would suggest that you can uh, have a look and remember them. But again, if you need more help understanding them, we have covered them in my Java Men Fundamentals looking at Java access modifiers. So now we're going to be looking at examples um, of these errors. Okay, so what we have here is we have some code, two pieces of code and their structure here, the format structure. What I would like you to do is stop the video and see if you can answer any of these questions. So hopefully you've stopped the video. Let's have a look at some of the answers then. So in the first section, we've got one, two, three, four. Um, there are an error here. Um, what is the issue? Well, at the moment, the issue is this method is a static method. So the reason why these are red is because um, this static me method is able to be called before this is uh, an instant is created from this class. So it's linking up to these, but these haven't been created. The class properties can't have not been created. So this is the reason why it's the error. Is the is because the method is static and it's linking up to those class properties. In the second section, will there be an error on line seven? Because line seven is um, calling this method, and this method is then accessing those class properties. Will there be a method? Well, no, because what we've done here is on line six, we've created that instance. So all of these properties have already been created um, and therefore these will be able to access them. So there will be no error on line seven. What about line nine? If we see line nine, this has an error. So what this is doing, even though we've created that instance of that class, it's trying to access those properties directly. And with, with, with the owner, we say that it doesn't have an access modifier, which means it's the default one. And the default won't allow you to access that directly um, from outside the class. So that is the issue. So how would we create uh, correct all of these errors? Um, I would probably first change this to uh, um, uh, get rid of the static here. So I would get rid of this. And so this would remove these errors here because that would allow us, um, that would force us to create that instance before we use this class. So this would remove these errors. And if you wanted to um, access this information directly, I would change this information to public. So if you see here, that size here in that class attribute that is um, okay, that has no error because that access modifier is public. So the simplest thing we'd be doing is to change um, the others to public. There are probably better methods, but it requires more effort. So we're not going to be talking about that in this video. So knowing what we talked about last video, see if you can answer this question. So hopefully you've talked, uh, you've stopped the video and you've answered this question. So the code is very similar, but the most of the access modifier errors will not happen. 
Why? Well, this is because we removed this uh, static one. And so we are getting the information from here. Um, the access modifier for size is public. The access modifier for age is protected. Um, and this will both allow us to access this class uh, property from with outside the class. So that is okay. The only one left is on line eight in the first section owner. And um, why is there a uh, why is there a error here? There's an error here because still that access modifier is private. So if you change that access modifier, um, then it will allow us to directly get that information. Okay, so this is the last uh, code that we're going to be looking at. If we see the code is very similar, except for we've um, we have one public class and our second cat class is within um, the class, um, and this is called nested classes, and it's a way of grouping classes together. So it's a valid way. Um, however, there is an error. So can you stop the video and think about these two questions? So hopefully you've stopped the video. Let's look at the answer. So on line five, we have the error. And this is because we have a static method and it's trying to call a non-static element within the same class and that cannot happen. So for us to change that, um, we will need to add static. So if we add it this and we turn this into a static class, this error will disappear because we have a static class uh, or a static method um, and, it, and it's now interacting with a static class and that would be fine. Um, the code is very similar, but there will be no access modifiers or errors. Uh, so all the access modifiers uh, will not happen, all the access modifiers errors will not happen. Why is that? Well, because um, we have the static class, this means that this will be um, this will be created or, or sorted without that instance. So all these values will exist because the class is static, um, and because we're in the same class. Um, we will be able to access this information. So we will be able to access um, the public access modifier and we will we'll be able to access the private modifier. So once we change this class to a static class, this information will be able to um, get because of those access modifiers. So we learned a lot today. Um, I would like you to try and see how much you can recall. So if you're able to answer this question. I think you've recalled recall enough information from the video that you're able to proceed. If you're able to explain this, that's brilliant. I would like you to leave a comment um, explaining of this information and I think it will be really helpful. And then again, if you can explain the scope of all the access modifiers both within and outside of the package because this is a new a new thing that we didn't really talk about in the video, that would be brilliant and you very useful for other learners. So try and leave those in the comment sections. Again, if you found this video useful at all, um, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video.